Hello, my beautiful Duck. This is your friendly girl, and I'm back in with the Steven Universe vlog. And today's episode is we need to talk, and holy crap, talk about a change in narrative. I mean, yesterday's balls to the wall, intense, disturbing, just horrifying, keeping it together, uh, keep it together. And then today's beautiful, majestic, sweet and heartfelt, um, uh, we need to talk are two episodes that are pretty weird to see back to back. Um, pretty weird to see back to back, I'll give you that. And the big elephant in the room I will address now is yes, this episode was leaked online yesterday, I'm pretty sure. And yes, I did watch it before it actually aired because R R D Liddy, you are a pirate. But I was nice and I waited until after it actually broadcasted on actual television uh, to do the vlog on it. So. Stop getting mad at me for doing that, because I already got some people asking me to do it anyway. So anyway, in this episode, um, Steven and Connie are dancing together, and they turn back into Stevani. Um, this best Stevani episode yet, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, what you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Alone together, fans, let's fight. Fight me at PAX. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna be at PAX. I should go to PAX. Give me money on Patreon so I can go to PAX. That'd be cool. Anyway, um, so... Uh, Greg's pretty shocked to find out that a human can fuse with a human, uh, with a gem, but, you know, Stephen explains the whole half-human, half-gem, blah, 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 all that stuff they explained in Alone Together. Um, so, Greg says that, you know, there, he has a story about trying to fuse with a gem, and then it's flashback, 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 and we go back to, a story for Stephen sort of area, kind of. I'm pretty sure it's the 80s. Those leg warmers and Pearl's hair and everything are pretty 80s. Pearl doesn't have the same hair she did in Steven, uh, Story for Steven. And I think her outfit changed a little bit. But besides that, everybody's the same they were in Story for Steven. For the most part, correct me if I'm wrong, you probably will. I think Amethyst's uh, outfit might be different. But I'm not sure. Anyway, why is this drawer open? Anyway, um, so... When Craig is trying to uh, make a music video for his, I don't know, gem band, I guess, which I will add, they the song they do is great. It's just amazing. And I don't know who does the voice for um, for Rose. I know she's a voice actor on, uh, what is it? Oh, I, she's a, I think it's, t no, it's not Teen Titans. She's a, okay, she's a voice actor on some show that I like, um, but I've never heard her sing before, and I know that, yeah, I know all the actors on the show were picked for their singing talents, but her voice sounds really, <laughs> her voice sounds really good. I mean, obviously, besides Garnet, who is a professional singer, uh, her voice is probably the best that I've heard in the series so far, although Pearl does have some pipes when she wants to sing, like, a uh, strong little way. We haven't even gotten into the plot yet, uh, half the plot yet, and we're, like, three minutes in. So, anyway, um, Pearl sees Greg and Rose having such a romantic, nice time, and she gets jealous, and she runs in, and she fuses with, uh, Rose, uh, as she puts it to make the video more interesting, but I think it's just to intimidate Greg, um, and they create Rainbow Quartz. Quick note, why would her name be Rainbow Quartz if it's Rose and White put together? I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. And another quick note. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, um, Rainbow Quartz comes out. She kind of looks like Aaron, uh, Aaron Hansen, Ego Raptor, um, <laughs> a little bit. Like you look at the Ego Raptor's uh, Game Grumps face, and then you look at her, and it's kind of the same. Um, I will add. So, Rainbow Quartz has four eyes. Garnet has three eyes. We can assume that since Ruby has two eyes, as we see. Sapphire must have one eye in the middle. Um, we saw on Sergilite, I hope I said her name right, um, that Garnet with the three eyes and Amethyst with the two eyes come together, make the uh, three, four, five, yeah, make the five eyes. But why would, why did Opal in the episode Giant Woman only have two eyes when um, Amethyst and Pearl both have two eyes each? I don't know. They have not explained that. I looked over it to make sure they didn't explain it. Uh, cause I, you know, saw the episode prior. So don't be, oh, Grumpy you're wrong, blah, 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 blah. No, they haven't explained it yet, okay? Maybe if you have a theory, tell me, but they haven't explained it. So, um, I wouldn't say that I like Rainbow Course's design, um, but 
uh, I, I haven't even gone through the plot yet, so I'll do notes later. Um, so, uh, they unfuse, and Rose goes away, and Pearl says that, you know, she, uh, uh, Rose says that Greg is just a phase, and Rose will move on, and she, you know, uh, Greg's irrelevant, and he's just, you know, nothing, because he's a human, and they can't show their true passion and their true love for each other, because they can't fuse together, which is, I guess, the ultimate, uh, romance, like, well, yeah, it, it is the ultimate romance, you know, for Garnet or something, but, um, not really, you know, for the most part, it's the ultimate romance, um, which I will say, I'm pretty much gonna classify Pearl having a crush on Rose now, so, there you have it, you know, if I ever address that in a vlog again, here's what I'm pretty sure she has, I'm almost positive there, there was some romance going on, so anyway, um, so Greg, you know, he decides he wants to fuse with Rose to show her his ultimate love for her. So they have a amazing scene. Uh, well, it's pretty much the rest of the episode is just them on this uh, on this dancing field and the lighting in this episode. Because like a whole bunch of parts in this episode are just like uh, little pink lights lighting up uh, the scene. Uh, it's in the music video in the temple on the boardwalk sort of area that they dance on, and the lighting, like, they do it, they do it sometimes, they did it in Horror Club is the one I remember, and they did it in, uh, full disclosure, it looks, it adds emphasis and color and emotion to the scenes that, you know, you can't really add with, like, words, it looks so good, and in this episode, they really, they really push it, uh, and not, not, not in a, like, oh, come on, guys, calm down, no, like, in a really good way, it looks, it looks amazing. I don't know who did the lighting on this episode or the color direction, but it looks amazing. Uh, props to you. Um, so Rose can't uh, Rose can't fuse with Greg, and Rose finds that funny that Greg thinks that they could, but Greg doesn't. You know, Greg doesn't understand why they're laughing, and then Rose doesn't understand, and they just they get in a. Honestly, I don't want to sound like an idiot or anything. I had no idea what they taught, what, what they were talking about. I mean, I think that was the point because even they didn't know what they were talking about uh, at some parts. But I like I might sound dumb for this. I have no idea what they're talking about. I mean, they were talking about like their relationship and where it's going, but they're talking about torture at one part, and then like uh, Rose goes silent, and I don't know why she went silent or anything. But uh, nonetheless, nonetheless. Um, the uh so the gem the crystal gems pearl garnet and amethyst were all watching them uh from behind and ro and pearl kind of like sinks in that maybe you know she's not she's not rose's favorite anymore and then they go back to present day and greg says if connie ever needs someone to talk about you know gem stuff and fusing with greg's here to talk to and Steven clutches his body, and the episode ends. And what an amazing episode, I'll give you that. This Steven Bomb, as much as I, you know I love the last Steven Bomb, the last Steven Bomb wasn't consistent quality. So far, besides maybe um, Rising Tides and Crashing Skies, this has been consistent quality so far. Um, and I'm really loving, like I said before, I'm really loving the way they made the lighting and the art direction in this episode when they're uh, dancing together. Um, the emotion and the heart between Greg and uh, Rose is there. It's a, it's really apparent. It's pretty heavy. And Pearl is revealed to be a lot more, uh, a lot more meaner, a lot, you know, crueler than we see her as the, you know, the caring for Stephen, nurturing mom sort of thing. Um, you know, we see that she cares a lot for Rose Quartz in episodes, like, you know, in a lot of other episodes, but in this episode, you see, you cross Pearl's path, she's gonna drop the mic, and that was a great scene. There's, uh, when she unfuses with, uh, Rose, she just turns around and she has the mic in her hand, she's like, it just drops it, like, right in front of Greg's face and, like, stares him in the eye, it's hilarious. I'm a, there's gonna be Tumblr just of that, and I'm gonna get one. Um... It's, uh, but we see how cynical, uh, Pearl is. No one stands in the way of her and her rose, which can either be really sweet or really, really a bad character trait, the way you look at it. I like the way they built up to it, um, but I, it doesn't make me hate or like Pearl anymore. I mean, she's changed now, obviously, but, um, it is, 
I didn't I didn't like the cruelness of it, and um, I I wonder if I wonder if uh, tomorrow's episode is gonna have something to do with fusion again because the last few episodes have had well the last two episodes including this one have had you know a fusion kind of theme overall going on and tomorrow's the big finale so I don't know if something cool is gonna happen but besides that. Um, just an amazing episode overall. The heart, the story, the lighting, and the art direction, the character development, all just amazingness. Something that makes the show even better. And one little note I did notice. Uh, in the beginning, when Greg's talking about, um, you know, just random stuff with Connie and Steven, you can see in his van a K.K. Slider poster from Animal Crossing, if you're an Animal Crossing guy. They exist, probably. Um, they, well, they definitely exist. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the last day of Steven Bomb 2. And thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Don't thumbs up. Maybe you're a rebel. Ooh. Chicka chicka.